So as you know from doing shorts, you cannot upload a custom thumbnail in YouTube Studio or on your phone. So what do you do? This is a tricky workaround, but it will do the job and your short will stand out in the short shelf and hopefully get more clicks. Take a minute to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any golden nuggets of information that can help you grow your channel. So as you can see, I've set this document up as being 1080 pixels wide by 1920. This is to get that 9 to 16 ratio. So that is the canvas setup. So now here is how you create the thumbnail. I've loaded the template that you can download from the link in the description. If you put that in as a background image and you can see here, I have my layers. I'm using Affinity Designer here. So I've locked that in place so it doesn't budge. And then what I'm going to do is I create in this yellow thumbnail area, that's the area that's going to be visible on the short shelf. So the rule is don't edit in the red areas, the band at the top that says only visible in video, not on thumbnail. If you put anything in there, it won't show up. It cuts that out in the short shelf. At the bottom here, you can see in this red panel that it says three words maximum going across some more words and some more words. There are three rows, and remember, you've got to put shorts in there as well. And underneath that, there is also a space for the number of views that you've got on the video. I'm going to add these elements that I've already created. Now, the text in this bottom bit is white text. So I want to put something that contrasts really strongly. So I'm just going to put a black bottom in there so that the white text is super readable on there when you are looking at the thumbnail on the short shelf. I also have a rectangle for my images. This white area here is the workable area. Now, once you've got this sorted like this and you've got your thumbnail, then you grab that and you just pull it up to the top to stretch it out. But if you're just using the template just to see what's going on, you could just move it around there. You, you can mess around with the opacity of that layer just to make sure that you can see where you're meant to be editing. So for this, I'm keeping it very, very simple. I want this thumbnail to stand out. I want a picture of a C chord because this is for my guitar channel. And I'm going to put something there that just says that guitar tips and tricks. And this will stand out massively. Now you've got your thumbnail. It is time to export it. I'm going to export that as a PNG. I'm going to make sure that I've still got those dimensions of 1080 by 1920. You've created your thumbnail. Now we're going to put it into the timeline of your short video in your video editor. The key to this is to place your thumbnail graphic in your video timeline at the eight second mark with a tolerance at either side of one second. So basically your thumbnail has to be visible in your video from seven to nine seconds. This is the time in the video that YouTube is pulling the still frame from the video. If you replace that still frame with an image of your thumbnail, when your video goes up on the short shelf, your video will stick out because it has a custom thumbnail. So that is the key. Place this graphic in your video editor between the seven and nine second mark. If you got some value from this video, don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.